The symptoms of anxiety can be cognitive, uncontrollable worry, poor concentration, irritability, sleep issues and heightened alertness, but also physical and autonomic symptoms, high heart rate, respiratory rate, sweating and a dry mouth, tremor, nausea, vomiting and syncope. The way these symptoms present can point to the underlying anxiety disorder. In a generalised anxiety disorder, these symptoms tend to be present almost all the time for the last six months and the cognitive symptoms classically outweigh the physical. The stimulus can be what are seen as everyday things such as social, financial or familial worries. In a panic disorder, however, this specifically starts with a spontaneous panic attack, transient, very intense physical symptoms. And although this panic attack may start out as spontaneous and unprovoked, the overriding stimulus for providing the anxiety symptoms is the thought of another panic attack in panic disorder. And in a phobia, the anxiety symptoms will get more intense the closer you get to the stimulus with the stimulus being a very specific thing that may not normally cause anxiety in uh, the rest of the population.